So today we're going to run through some hospital pharmacy questions for hospital pharmacists working within the United Kingdom. So there are several questions asked on the Microfarm Instagram page and I want to answer some of these today. As some of you may know, I did transition from community pharmacy into hospital pharmacy. So some people wanted to know what the transition was like moving from community to hospital pharmacy. So I completed my pre-registration year in community pharmacy. And of course, the things I faced on a daily basis in a community pharmacy were vastly different from what I faced in a hospital pharmacy. Mainly, I did not have experience dealing with intravenous drugs and considering renal impairment and hepatic impairment because I didn't have access to those bloods when I was working in community pharmacy. So the transition was quite difficult initially, but you have to understand that community pharmacists working in hospital pharmacies will have extensive training by the training team within the hospital pharmacy. This training can last as long as three months. This will include training for the dispensary, knowing how to manage your own ward and how to prioritize tasks within a ward and things that you may experience on a daily basis as a hospital pharmacist. In terms of training, you shouldn't be worried. And if there's anything that you do not know or you do not feel confident to do, you should always ask questions. Another question, which was a very good question, was how to get a hospital pharmacy placement during this current pandemic. The reason why this is such a good question is because a lot of hospitals have stopped taking in pharmacy placement students because of the current pandemic and the risks associated to it. What I'd advise you to do is contact different NHS trusts to see if there's any way in which you can have some virtual experience with any aspects of the daily role of a pharmacist. So of course, it's something that's very new to us and it's very difficult for you to get that face-to-face -face experience within a hospital. But if you contact the training teams within different NHS trusts and see if there's anything that you could do virtually, just so that you get some form of experience during the pandemic. I really like the next question. The next question was, when did you feel like a proper pharmacist? For me, it probably took me about six to nine months to feel like I got a grip of things. This may sound like a lot longer than what people would expect, but the reason for this is when I first started practicing as a pharmacist, I just transitioned from a training year from community pharmacy into hospital pharmacy. So I had to get to grips with being a hospital pharmacist at the same time of getting to grips with being a responsible, practicing, qualified pharmacist. One thing I would say is not to feel too concerned about taking long to feel like a proper pharmacist or feel like you're doing the job of a practicing pharmacist properly because it can take a long period of time for some people and there's so many aspects to the role that you have to take into consideration. 